going. I started making chocolate from home, selling on Time Mouth Market every weekend, and then it just started to grow from there. some samples of a new bar called Nana's Biscuit Tin. I want it to remind people of when you visit your Nana and she opens the biscuit tin and she's like, when you like a biscuit? And even though you say no, she still gives you one. It's going to be caramelised white chocolate with ginger nuts, malted milk biscuits, and it's going to be really delicious. So it's going to be part of the Geordie range. I thought, I really want to make fun chocolate that gives people an experience. So, yeah, I started making chocolate from home, 30 bars at a time, and then it just started to grow from there. We got into more and more shops. So that's what I was thinking, just to give it that little bit of... The, the... The scrum diddly umptious, man. <laughs> as soon as I walked into this place, it was like family. Like, the day one, it was just family, and you just know that you want to be here because the atmosphere is always amazing. You are gone. <laughs> we do work incredibly hard to get out what we get out, because we all eat, sleep and breathe chocolate all day long. Would everyone like to come and try this Nana's Biscuit tin bar? Um, um. My dad is Mr. Enthusiastic. He's like stood there with a flag all the time telling everybody about the chocolate smiths. So how's the new year coming on? Yeah, really well. I'll take you in. Have you seen it recently? No, no, I haven't actually. Oh. I'll have to go and have a look. Oh wow. So this will be the wrapping room. Oh, fantastic, yeah. Yeah. We've taken a two hundred thousand pound loan. Which sounds like a very big risk. I guess it is. <laughs> it is a risk, isn't it? It is a big risk. Who am I kidding? So this will be a clean room. Yeah, it's her ideas, her drive. I've been there in the background. I've helped her when she wants my advice. You know, I'll give it to her. But you've got to take a risk to get anywhere. And, and she's taking that risk now, really, by expanding into this place here. I can be a worrier sometimes. But my dad says to me, is the money in the bank, Steffi? Yes. Have you got orders coming in? Yes. Have you run out of ideas? No. What are you worrying about? From that little tiny market on Time Mouth to this. Oh, no. to I know. I don't... You know when something doesn't... It just doesn't sink in. I feel like I'm going to wake up and it's going to be like, oh, well, that was a nice dream. <laughs> I remember that year, one of our best wholesale customers usually placed, like, a £30,000 order just for Christmas, plus more. And they said, we still have 80% of your stock left. And I thought, what is happening to the high street? I felt like I'd had a crash course in everything that could go wrong in a business within the space of, like, three months. So we put our heads together and we thought, we need to move things online. We need to just start doing delicious, gooey, messy, Big bars of chocolate that people just want to eat. I completely changed the way I thought about the business. And our Instagram following started to grow. And from there, online sales started coming in through our website. And I thought, this works. Hello! Good morning! Our website is open at 6 o'clock on Friday for the full weekend. <laughs> the social media aspect to our business is hugely important. 95% of our website traffic comes from Instagram. We just say, stocks live now, swipe up. And then when people place orders on the website, we'll have a website builder called Shopify, which literally just filters all the orders through. 
We use an app called Orderly Print. They come out the printer. And then the packing team just get the slips with everything that people have ordered on. Cheers. It's how we manage to keep going as a business. It's how we sell the chocolate. So, yeah, 8 o'clock tomorrow on the website. Be there or be chocolateless. People have actually messaged with saying, I didn't buy the chocolate because I thought it looked amazing. I bought the chocolate because you just make us laugh. The next problem from an anonymous user is, where can I get support for my bizarre bar addiction? I was going to say, you need a helmet like this so that you can't get chocolate in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We massively involve our customers and we love talking to our customers. It's how we manage to <laughs> yeah. keep going as a business. It's how we sell the chocolate. I've got two kids, Faith, who is five, and you can have this. And Charlotte, who has just turned one. Yes. Then I, yes. No, do I want tomatoes? Yes, I do. I'm the biggest scatterbrain anyway. One thing I do tell myself is when I'm at home and I'm with the kids, I am... Um, like, present. I'm trying not to think about work, like, when I'm with the kids. The child mind is really, really good. Um, we've got an awesome... No, it sounds... It sounds dead posh, but... Nanny. <laughs> I've got a good nanny. I couldn't do it without them. It just means four days a week I can be at work till quarter to seven at night. Faith is very patient. She knows, right, Mama has to work and it's important. A lot has happened in the last 30 years. <laughs> and for a long time, I felt like I hadn't achieved much, but now I look back and I think you were learning a lot. I think having two young kids myself really brings it home for me, like family needs to come first. We know how important family is because we are a family. Steffi literally changed my life. So if I could say anything to Steffi, it would just be, Thank you for understanding. Woo! Woo!